continuing our investigation in West Sussex with guest Chris Holton, we explore the rooms of the Royal Oak Inn. The Royal Oak is a charming country inn in West Lavington near Midhurst and as well as the usual punters visiting here there are many reports of alleged spirits in this place apart from the ones behind the bar of course. We had already had a walk around whilst we waited for guest Chris Holton of Haunted Earth to arrive and Alan had immediately sensed a woman in one of the upper bedrooms where numerous sightings have been witnessed. Earlier the same evening the team had explored the nearby disused railway tunnel and after a short break to recharge our batteries, we prepare ourselves for the second location of the night's investigation. Okay, we're here at the Royal Oak in Midhurst, uh, a pub owned by a friend of ours called Alan Dale. Uh, we've joined, been joined today by Chris Holton from Haunted Earth. We've been down to a disused railway tunnel already this evening, uh, and both him and Alan picked up on quite a lot of information there, which is quite interesting. I'm certainly looking forward to working with Spiral Paranormal tonight. As I say, uh, it's been great meeting the guys that are here tonight. Hopefully tonight, we should be able to capture something very useful to share with you. So. Stay tuned for more action. Very relaxed at the moment, looking forward to seeing if we can pick anything up actually inside this place. Um, when Alan took us for a walk up to show us access earlier, didn't he? Just a quick walk through. I, I, I picked up a couple of things, so it'd be very interesting. It'd be interesting to see what Chris picks up and, um, and an interesting evening, I'm sure. And I'm drawn to the bedroom upstairs. I think there's going to be some activity up there. Is that in the, the older bedroom? Yeah, the older bedroom. 17th century, mm -hmm. that one. I think there's some, going to be some activity up there. I don't know much about this place, so I've come in quite raw. Um, Alan didn't know much about it either, obviously Chris didn't, so we're going to have a little, uh, couple of vigils a little later on, probably about 1.30, see what happens, and uh, hope we'll have something to show you later on in the episode. We head upstairs which was to be the main focus of our time here. We're about to go upstairs into the uh, old bedroom, uh, start the vigil up there, then we're going to come down into the main uh, bar area, see what happens. Yeah. We're going up to the 17th century bedroom? Yes, I think so. Right. I think it's yeah, let's go through the office and we'll go through it. Yeah. Yeah, wait for it. Okay, it's definitely female. Thank you. What did you say, Alan? I said there's a female yep. here when I came off here earlier. Yeah, nice um, female. She's young. That's can I spot Alice, Alice, it's something Alice and something Jill connected with the same name. Alice, I think her first name was Alice. Don't ask me why, it's just flushed in my mind. And disabled. Not like, you know, on a walking stick, but one of her legs is slightly lame. This is an active spirit. Yeah. Active, yeah. Yeah. And she goes round rooms. She looks in on people's rooms. She's a good spirit. I don't feel any... Um, I don't feel any evil or any antipathy. I get the impression of her as somebody that watches over on other people. Is that what you picked up, Alan? Yeah, I think very much. I haven't picked that much up about it though because we just did a quick walk through. But we came out, I just, just went straight away, there's a woman, there's a female up here. But I, I, I actually get that impression with her that she uh, will wander around and um, watch in, look in, you know? It's like from one room to the other, like she's... She's checking, she's checking yeah. that people are alright. She's yeah. looking and... She's a maid or something yeah, of that she's, description. She's checking. She's just looking in and she looks through and she doesn't want to disturb, but she's looking in and then moving on. This woman for me, at whatever period this is with her, she's actually looking after the children. She's checking on the children. She's coming into the rooms. Would you think there might be children who might be uh, the children of people who own the, own the property? Yeah, children. Like, like, a, like a nursemaid or? Yes. 
nanny. She's she's checking that the children are right. She's looking in and she moves about, and that's what she's still doing. I think you know. Not not in this room, but there is an, a male presence on this floor, mm. and he is he's not a nice man at all. Um, this character that I'm picking up here goes back at, at least a hundred years, maybe back to the beginning of this pub. But he is a man who has got a lot of pride in, attached to this building, and he's not a very pleasant man, a man of short, a short temper. Well, I, have to be honest, I haven't got him at the moment. No, this is something that's flashed in, and I yeah. think that the impression I'm getting now, if we go further that way in the building, or wherever it is, away from yeah. where we are, we should be able to make contact. But. This is just the impression oh, that's no, coming yeah, across. This will be interesting because, like I say, with me, sometimes I get things. Like when we walked up here, like you, when you walked in this room, instantly, I, I went. There's a female entity here. Mm, she's the case. She's not it was something that hit me straight away. Feel there's somebody like this. Just as I come through that door, around the energy's corner, energy's changed yeah. straight away. There's a change in the energy. I noticed that as soon as I came in, and I can feel somebody here. I'm not sure what it is at the moment. Can you feel anything over mm. there? I can feel it here. Yeah. Mm. So perhaps he's moved over. Yeah. And he feels masculine. Oh, there's energy feeling. there. Yeah. God, feel that. Mm. Feel that. It's tingling. That's yeah, I just can feel it. Feel it there. It's warm. I find it warm. There's something not quite oh, right about this door layer. Feel it well. there. Right. I see what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this used to be. These used to be an entrance through here. Yeah, it does uh, continue, you can see it there. Yeah. They continue through. I think and this is a, when they converted it into a bathroom, mm. they block that doorway. The, in this room here, the impression I had is children, and, and it's not a pleasant feeling, that's all I can say. Children, and it doesn't feel very pleasant. I'm getting yeah. a very strong impression of a man. And I think he's that character and the energy, every time I move my hand out, I can feel the energy. Yeah, it's very strong. It's getting strong, it's getting yeah. stronger. It's like he's standing there, but now he's coming, he's coming with us. He's so coming he's, with us. He's, he's, that, he's that man he's I'm telling us. you about in there, the yeah. one who, who's moving around with us. He's so following that, us, he's yeah. watching what we're doing. Oh, fantastic, good, okay. But in this room, I tell me what you think. Yeah, I've just felt this change as soon as I walked in here. But yeah, it's different. I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm getting at the moment. I can't say children or anything else, I have to be honest. But perhaps in a minute. This is all very interesting actually. We're getting um, We're each room, each room is, is, it is seems to be generating a different it energy, is. which is quite I unusual. I over there and I started to feel quite lightheaded. That's all I can say, just over there. Mm -hmm. But there's all something all unpleasant all in this room. All I can say is this. This man is there and he's coming and he's following us. Yeah. He's following us. But there's something unpleasant attached to this room. He's actually in this room with us now. He's here. We're here now. He's here. He's Hello, come mate. True Rock to on. here now. He's come true to here now. He's in this room with us. A couple of steps closer and just, just keeping enough distance but moving behind and he's then stopping. Keep... And but he's the one who's not very pleasant. That could be him. I don't know. I'm not picking up details. I'll be right But this room, you. definitely children. I, like it could have been used as a nursery or... Well, I know that, like I said about that woman, she's looking in these rooms for mm. children, she's watching. So I take it there were children in these rooms at this stage because she's looking in each room. This could have been checking the, Remember what I said in there about checking the children, then moving to the next room without disturbing. One or maybe two of the children that I'm feeling here, because I feel <coughs> sadness. Mm. Uh, and I'm sure that they're somewhere... Oh, God, I can feel that energy around me again. It's, it's strong, very strong. <laughs> Keep it going, guys. That's really good stuff, really good stuff. But there's certainly... there's Look, there's a, the ambience in that room was different to the ambience in, the, in this room. When I walked into this room, the first feeling that I had was a quite a negative, depressed feel, and then children, and then children just flashed into my mind, and then I feel that this depressed, negative feeling is the loss of maybe one or two of these children's <coughs> spirit. Well, perhaps that's to do with this woman running around still yeah. checking them, even after they're gone, she's still... But the staircase though, Alan. Mm. Look, if we go through here, Pat, if you stand down there, at the other end, sorry, you get a better shot, I'm not yeah. I'm feeling very light-headed. 
if anything I can get here is I get that woman coming up these stairs it's like she's coming up to move around these rooms um, it's fascinating because I, I think I'm going to get more as we go on there but I, I, I think that there is a I don't know I think this light headedness it, no it just feels negative it's like going down here Now, it's that same energy keeps yeah. coming in around me, but I mean it's so strong I can physically feel it. Mm -hmm. It's not even a sense of it; it's physically strong. See, I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling the presence. I'm feeling the that man's influence. Well, well, I feel. I always physically feel yeah. if they come anywhere near me. Yeah. This is the man still following us. He's definitely moving around behind us here now. I know that's a TV, but that's I thought I heard a child. Yeah, it's, no, it's in Alan's oh. room there. Should um, we um, push on for the other room? Yeah, okay. I wish I could get this room, but I'm not. But it was the woman looking in on the children. That was the thing with mm. me. And funny that he said he got children here, so that could fit quite well mm. with us. And she looks through and she's looking after the children. Like she's running mm. around this floor looking after them. So. It's fascinating. It's fascinating that he's picked up children mm. as well. All I'm feeling in this room really is that influence of a girl, but no, nothing else. But there is a, a kind of pervading feeling of negativity upstairs in the pub, definitely. Oh. Let's have a little seat down and see what we feel up here generally. Now I have to say that I feel children here. Yeah, I, I felt the girl, the yeah, influence of the girl. I feel in children. It's, in, it's children here, and and it's but this is residual anyway. Mm. Well, so, so was what I felt with the children in the other room. Yeah, so. yeah, this is residual, and uh, but this is tasked to somebody's memory of loss. That's what I'm feeling. There is something well, that's a yeah, terrible yeah, thing that's I happened. Couldn't, I couldn't disagree with that at all. Um, and I think that you're possibly quite right because I'm getting drawn towards. Hang on at the moment, let's just see. Naturally, and, and it's not as early as I expected with this child, I think this is uh, more... Edwardian? Yes, mm. just after the 1900s, I was just mm. going to say. I just had a feeling of that, yeah. yeah. It's sort of, uh, yeah, about 1908, something like that, I'm getting, which is, yeah. She could be possibly nine, ten years old, but between eight and ten. I would say, and to me, she's got her hair split in two. I don't know what you call, what are they called? Ponytails. Pigtails. 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 Yeah. yeah. She's got blonde hair or fair hair, and it's knotted. You know, when they knot it up, whatever they do, like the like oh, up in a rope. Yeah, like that. Or yeah. plaited. Plaited. Plat, yeah. That's it. It's plaited and into two, not one, into two. It's one of those rare occasions where you've got two mediums who seem to be sort of singing from the same song sheet, which I, is something as a sceptical researcher is always on the lookout for. This is very, very interesting so far. It's almost like a door there, isn't it? Yeah, I think I, it, it was just as I come down there, about there. See so, so the brickwork there, I can tell yeah. you now, that the oldest set could be is Victorian. Well, this nasty the, character that I picked up. The woman up. is for the strongest for me when yeah. I walked in that room. That, that that woman was the strongest thing when I picked up when I first arrived. Mm. And, and again, that when we walked immediate, into the room. That was my yeah. immediate impression. The man yeah. was not so strong, but his intent, shall we say, was, was stronger. Well, I, I don't know about his intent. I, I just know that he's a lot more serious, a lot firmer. And yeah. a lot, he's not a sort of happy. He's a man who doesn't old. take any yeah. for YouTube. But but he was following us. He was following us. Mm. He's around. Splitting up, I joined Chris in one of the bedrooms with Alan and Patricia in the adjoining room. Respond to it if you want to. It would be nice if you did. Could you confirm your name, please? I think your name is Alice. The energy sparks are getting bigger. Alice, I'm going to protect, cover myself in white light energy so you can stand closer, you can feed off that energy, but you won't be causing me pain. 
You see, I talk to them like I'm talking to everyday people mm. because they are, oh wow, that was fantastic. She just gave a really big flash, well, bigger, it's a small, mm -hmm. it's a small flash of energy, but much bigger than the ones I've seen before. The presence of the man here, he is more constricted than f for what she is. She's watching, she's watching us. Our night here draws to a close. And just like the railway tunnel, it had been interesting to observe two like-minded mediums work together. One, one woman for definite, children, the, yeah. the man. Everything is correlated, isn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, that's, that's worked out quite well. As far as I'm concerned, that's good proof of something. Right? Oh yeah, absolutely, I agree with yeah. We thank Chris Holt for joining us on this evening's investigation as we all head home into the early morning darkness. Another spooky result from Haunted Earth and Spiral Paranormal. <laughs>